Okay. The complete book of candles. Uh, creative candle making, candle holders, and decorative displays by Gloria Nickel. Nicole? Why is it Nickel? Um, yeah. So, um, I found this at, uh, these bookstore that I go to, I always find good stuff there. So, yeah, so. Um. So, colors. Um. Well, like, goes by, like, colors. Um. And it kind of describes, um, not, um, into more detail, but like, um, like it does talk about a little bit of the colors, like, um, my Christmas gold candlelights symbolize, symbolize the magic and enchantment of the special time of year. Surround them with pine cones and other wood, woodland, woodland materials gilded with gold spray paint, or make an advent calendar to last through, last throughout the build-up to Christmas. Arrange gold candles with gold accessories to build up a lavish assembly of objects for a dinner table or or masterpiece Mas mantelpiece, mantelpiece display so um it's just telling you like how to arrange them what goes good with them like gold candles can be used to create quite a range of different effects you can mix gold candles with shades of white cream or natural colors in a modern interior or to achieve quite contrasting atmosphere use um rich gold candles with deep reds and greens to create a more exotic style so it kind of does that um uh thing with um all the colors like silver white yellow um and it goes into like um seasons as well um then it goes into like candle making and techniques on how to um make the candles but like i book other books that can help me with that and then it goes into um different types of candles like what you can do like um this is a mosaic candle pot so um what you do is um take glass tumblers um and then you use foam rubber squares uh the same size and you use um chromatic paints and then you just like dab them And then what she has is gold chromatic paint along the edges here. And then, yeah, of course you let the paint dry. And then you add the wax into, you wax and wick into the candle. Um, I've marked a few things here because like, um, what she, what she has in here are quite neat. And then you got, um, pattern candles right there. Um, so, um, what you just hear is, um, you get church, um, uh, church candles or ivory pillar candles. And then you use, um, stencils or you could use lace and just like, um, spray paint, non-toxic spray paints, and then she just does that with the lace or, um, the stencil you can see here, and then she's lace there, um, another one, um, Okay, so, um, candle holders, so you got, like, 
spiraled um, wire decoration, so just wrapping some wire around here, making that um, curve there, and then here, um, with the wire, multiple spirals there, um, copper wire, and it's just the spiral over and over again. Um, and then you got coiled pots like that. So you use uh, chicken wire to make the shape that you want, and then you use salt dough to um, twine them up, like go around the chicken wire yeah so the chicken wire stays there I guess yeah so gotta get <laughs> what you want right um, And then you got um, flower candle holders, so just the top right there. Um, so you use some aluminum foil, and then like she gives you a template at the back of the book of the flower, and then you just trace it, and then. Um, onto what you want, and then um, she gives you directions on how to do all these, cause like all these types of cool stuff, cause like you can add beads and there's like the stuff around it. Um, another thing to do is like a copper foil, and make these candle crowns and I just find cool because like they're dimpled and then uh, dif um, designs um, and like the bottom here they're from drinking cans um, maneuvered and dimpled again um, into different stuff so, that's another idea. Um, going with that same thing is some um, tin cans. Um, to make these designs, you just used um, tracing paper, I think. Um, yeah, tracing paper. Put the design on and then um, dimpled. Um, with a nail and hammer. So, gotta get this right. Um, and then garden flowers. So, here, right there. Um, deep sided foil pie dishes, pants or whatever. So, and you use, um, the empty metal of uh, tea lights <coughs> um, as like the holder for like votive candles um, and you want to um, they also say small um, deep foil dishes to go within the larger one so, the smaller one, um, if there's any wax, it'll get that. Um, yeah, paper lantern, um, glass pots, you just like paint it and 
um, use um, outline paint for that. Um, paper paper, but um, that's it. And you just, it's just like cardboard and um, like PVA glue. And yeah. Um, oak leaf decoration. So there's a template. And then think Thing card like cardstock. Um like in like aluminum copper or and bronze a foil. Just to make it different and then just to kinda get that. Um so in the book again there's the templates for quite a bit of the stuff. So, yeah. So if you want to try and make different types of candles or candle holders, this is definitely a book to look into.